All right guys, so this is a, uh, an update to the inexplicably popular how to install a tubeless tire without a compressor video, the most viewed video on this channel. Uh, when I made that video, uh, rim and tire systems were not what they are now. Uh, these days installing a tubeless tire is just like installing a tire. So if you can do that, you can install a tubeless tire. I am here in Santa Clara, Utah uh, to shoot the True Grit Epic. Uh, race number one of the NUE series, and uh, I got to go meet some of the riders to uh, to ride in uh, in just a few minutes. So I am going to swap this tire out uh, without a compressor. There's no compressor in the uh, BLM land here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have at it. And all you need to do this is a floor pump, a tire, some stand snow tubes, maybe a tire lever, and of course some coffee. All right, so the only thing I'm gonna show you guys that's anything like a trick here is um, recycling of the sealant. So uh, this is a this is the stock tire on the Da Vinci Django here from JRA Cycles in Medford, Massachusetts. Um, and uh, I'm gonna take this sawed off uh, pulling spring uh, bottle and I'm gonna scoop out the, uh, the old sealant. Um, this is, uh, it's relatively fresh in here. All right, so that does the trick pretty nicely. And uh, you can use this relatively fresh juice here. I'm gonna chuck this thing over here to dry. See you later. So one of the funniest parts about the, uh, the old tubeless video is that it's just uh, kind of the comments, uh, you know, one guy saying that uh, you should install the um, the tire so the label is opposite the valve, not uh, lined up with it so you can find it quick in like a flat fix situation or whatever, and uh, not get made fun of by the guys at the bike shop. But um, this guy said that if you put the label opposite the valve, then the actual, was it the weight of the valve will rotate the wheel around when the when the bike is hanging in the shop, and so then, they, then the label will be right side up. Uh, but my bike isn't hanging in a shop. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna line up the A on the Vaso here. Um, this is I've done this with a bunch of different wheel systems. This is um, I think these uh, the stock wheels on the Django are race face. Um, and this is just a Vittoria 2.35 Barzo. Um, so I'm gonna just commit here. Uh, I'm gonna dump in, dump in the recycled sealant. Uh, give the, uh, the stands a shake here. Invert it. Let the, uh, the particles uh, congregate at the bottom to give it more sealy power. Dump a liberal amount in. But all right, so I've got the, uh, the liberal pool of sealant in here. Uh, I'm gonna rotate that towards where I'm putting the bead on so I don't spill it everywhere. Um, I actually did go ahead and I removed the valve core, which I don't normally have to do, but it was kind of buggered up. And so I just wasn't able to get enough air into that. Uh, you can do that, I mean, stands, no tubes, makes my little tool. You make this little guy, that'll take your valve core out. Um, but you can also just do it with a pair of needle nose pliers or whatever, carefully. I'm gonna give this thing a little bounce as I pump. I guess that's a trick too. That's a little trick. So I got the, uh, the sealant recycling trick. I got your uh, valve core removal trick. And then I got the bounce trick, which but still, there's nothing to it. It's like installing a, a tire. It's the valve core. That's, that's gonna go back in. Shut up. Little no tubes tool just goes right over that thing. I have to say the funniest part of the, uh, the comments on the other video, the inexplicably popular one, is people who are still discussing whether tubeless is even a thing. And uh, 
You know, there's always that one guy who's got the horror story about one time my friend, he had a tubeless tire and we couldn't fix it and there was just slime everywhere and glop and oh my God, it was a nightmare, dude. Well, you know, with tubeless, you get far fewer flats than you do with a tube tire. And then when you do get a flat, you just fix it, you know, sort of like this. You just put a tube in the tire, you take the valve out, but that's far less likely to happen with tubeless. Um, I'm sure somewhere on the internet there is a forum for people who are uh, proponents of the tubed television and their wicked anti-flat screen television. Uh, so that's, that's, about, that's about how uh, viable uh, tubed technology is in a cross-country or trail mountain bike tire these days. It is a tube television versus a, uh, a 29 inch flat screen TV, dude. All right, so I hope you found this, uh, this tutorial or me standing in the desert being a useless wise ass, uh, informative, dude. And um, go watch some other videos on the channel because uh, that is seriously, quite literally, the dumbest video on this channel. And that's saying a lot, kid. All right, see you later.